Hi, everyone. It's this week's episode of Ask Rad, starting with our angel messages for February 19th through the 25th. So hi, Instagram. How you guys doing? Hello, Facebook. Welcome. Welcome to everybody. Uh, and I thought that this week uh, I've got a purple theme <laughs> going on. So we'll do animal tarot cards, which sort of makes it animal messages for the week. But I think animals are also angels. So we're going to start with the title Angel Messages. So again, this is for the week of February 19th through the 25th. So here we go. <clears throat> I hope you guys have had a great week. Hi, everybody. How you guys doing? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> okay, here we go. <clears throat> and two and one. Okay. So, okay, all right. So this is one of those weeks uh, where every single card is a major arcana card. And so that, that adds emphasis to the reading. It means it's going to be a really powerful week. It's going to have a lot of important things that happen. And we're gonna start, I mean, we're starting really, really well. We're starting with the world, the world. And, uh, just so you know, this little pup, yes, this is my girl. This is Riley Grace of Pitter Patagonia. It was her turn to be in the cards. Every time I create a deck, I put one of my dogs in the deck. And so it was her turn. And so uh, this is a card of great success, of happiness. Hi, Bridget. Of happiness and, and wonderful things happening. It's, it's also a card of really kind of coming full circle. It's where you complete something and now it's time to figure out, well, now what do I want to do? And you can keep going if you want, or you can uh, try something new. Now, the reason that I put Shetland Sheepdog on here is, I mean, dogs in general, represent unconditional love and loyalty and and all these wonderful emotions they they represent that but uh Shetland sheep dogs are known for being very beautiful, being very intelligent, having a really great sense of humor and they're known for all of these things but they're also known for having this deep desire to have a job. They have to have a job. And Jace has a job and Riley has a job. They both have their little jobs that they do and that makes them feel content. And so I put Riley on here to say, basically, if you are as dedicated to what you want to create as this little girl is to her job, you will be a huge success too. So that's Monday, Tuesday, February 19th and 20th. Now, the next two cards, I really love it that these two cards fell out together because I, I love that story. And in fact, I want to see if I can find, because there's, there's really, this is what I teach in my Certified Angel Tarot Reader course about the story that is the Major Arcana, that there is a there's a story that is buried within the Major Arcana that has um, a particular meaning. So I'm going to pull this card out. So uh, this is not a card of the week, okay? So not one of the cards of the week, okay? But here we have the magician, okay? And so the magician is the, actually it's card number one, but it's the second card in tarot. And the magician says, oh, wow, look, I'm here. I can do magic. I can create all kinds of things. I can move stuff around. And so what do I want to do with that? What do I want to create? So, like I said, this is not one of the cards of the week, but I wanted to tell you that so that the next two cards make more sense to you. So the next two cards are cards two and three. So this is the high priestess. So in the story of, of the major arcana, once we know we can do stuff, the high priestess says, mm, you know what? I don't know what I want to do. So I'm just going to chill for a while. Okay. I'm just going to chill for a while. So this is Wednesday, Thursday. So you might not get a whole lot done Wednesday, Thursday, because you're in a place of contemplation. You're in a place of trying to decide how, what the next thing is to do and how to do it. 
Um, this is this card. I love this card. Uh, a little bit of Radley trivia. Um, for whatever reason, I, every single time I uh, start to create a new deck and we test out an artist, I have them do the High Priestess. I don't know why. I just do. I love the symbolism. And there's a lot of traditional symbolism in this card. You'll see we've got an owl representing our high priestess. And she's got the, the, the piece of paper with all the magic on it. And in traditional tarot, the high priestess has that scroll rolled up because it's supposed to be hidden, whatever. It's not hidden. And, and there's water. Her dress is turning to water. So we have here the owl and it's flying through the traditional columns with a sliver of a moon, traditional tarot, with flying through the columns with a, touch of the scroll touching the water. So High Priestess, again, like I said, it's kind of chill for Wednesday, Thursday. It's it's spending time figuring things out. Now, why did we pick an owl? Well, I picked an owl because owls are wise and, and they can see through the darkness. They can see through the, the, to the light. And that's what this card is a lot about. It is sitting in contemplation and, and really thinking about what do I want to create? So the next card just happens to be the Empress, card number three. That's why I wanted to show you card number one first. And there's some traditional symbolism and some new symbolism in here. With What we have is we have an Angora rabbit. And the Angora rabbit, you can see, is wearing uh, what is traditional for the Empress, a, a heart shape with the v symbol of Venus on it. Although in traditional symbolism, it's a shield. So she's wearing that over her heart. And so this is the card that says, okay, enough sitting around. <laughs> you sat, now get busy. What do you want to fit? What do you want to create? What is next? Get going. And that's why I chose the Angora rabbit because rabbits create, they, they talk about creativity and fertility. So this card literally could mean somebody getting pregnant, but it's more often it, it's creating your baby like, you know, like this, you know, how to be your own dude. This was my baby, right? So this was Empress energy, creation, creativity, getting going. And when rabbits start to, you know, rabbits will sit still, but when they go, they go, they leap, they take a leap of faith, they jump, they put all their feet into it and they fly away. And so Wednesday, uh, Thursday is chill. So we'll let's try the beginning. Monday, Tuesday, Good stuff going. Have fun. Dogs are also fun. Um, then Wednesday, Thursday is chill and really think about things. Really chill. And finally, the Empress. Finally, the Empress and the whole get going from the stuff that you discovered in the time while you were thinking about what to do under the high priestess. So what someone just said, what's my baby? My baby is this. It's my book, How to Be Your Own Genie. It came out just a couple of months ago. Super proud of it and super excited that it is out in the world. It's by Hay House. Okay. So um, you all might notice we've got a little bit of a change in scenery. Um, my little boy, Jace, he had some tumors removed. No problem, benign, and we knew they were benign, but um, he's getting up there a little bit in age. I don't like to admit that. And we they were afraid that where the tumors were, we're going to limit his ability to move around. And so where I normally film uh, Rascrad is, is actually in um, my office, which requires stairs. And so the little boy is not going up and down stairs right now. So we, I had to move to the main floor. So I'm in the dining room. <laughs> Normally I have angels behind me, but you know, that's fine. And I still have angels behind me, right? We just can't necessarily see them. All right. So we are going to get busy. Let me put these, these cards away from Animal Tarot cards. Oh, and if you missed the angel messages for the week of February 19th through the 25th, and you're just now joining us, no problem. This is going to be posted on Facebook. It'll be posted on Instagram for 24 hours, and it will also be posted on um, in, uh, YouTube. YouTube. It'll be posted on YouTube. All right. So let's see. Where shall we start? Um, um, let's see. 
Oh, thank you, Anna. <laughs> um, all right, so there's Kim. Hi, Kim. Uh, Kim says, hi, Radley. Could you please tell me my guardian angels' names and their messages for me? Okay, so let me get my thing and write down your name because I have to take it down here in a moment. And so, so I'm getting Layla, L-A-Y-L-A, Layla, and Aria. A-R-I-A, so Layla and Aria. And, you know, the, the message that they're saying to me is about b being in joy, m making sure that you have more time for the things that you love, making sure that you have time for the things that make you happy. Um, you know, we get we get so caught up in in the things that we think that have to be done and and then we miss out on the fun. And so Layla and Aria are basically saying, have more fun, have more fun, have more fun. All right. Let's see. So get rid of that. All right. Hi, Instagrammers. How are you guys doing? How are you doing? OK, let's see. <clears throat> um. What was that one? Mildy says, hi, Red. Is it a good time to sell and buy property? Thanks, Mildy. Let me write that down. Okay. So is it a good time to buy and sell property? You know, that's that's a job for fairy tarot cards for me and my – because I think fairies are really great for manifesting things. So let's just take a look for Mildy. If this is a good time for buying and selling a home for Mildy. Okay, two and one. Okay, you're welcome, Kim. Okay, let's see. Unity. You know, I think Unity is a card that, gosh, how do I attach Unity to the question of buying and selling? You know, I think I'm just going to go with the picture. And sorry, Facebook, Here, here's the picture that you can see right now. And I'm going to show it to Mildy. And Mildy, what's going on in this picture? Um, like nothing. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Everybody's just sitting around. There's no movement. We're discussing. We're having a conversation. Um, so that tells me it's a good time to be talking about it. It's a good time to be gathering information. But this doesn't look to me like a lot of action. This doesn't look to me like a lot going on. So probably not the right exact time, but perfectly good time for gathering information. All right. Let's see. Um. Okay, so Lori. Hi, Lori. How you guys doing? Okay, so Lori says, uh, hi, Rad. Can you help me find out my guardian angel's names? As a matter of fact, I can. <laughs> it's one of the things that I do. So, so okay, so I don't want to confuse you if, if you're an angel person, Lori, because there is an arc angel whose name is Shamuel. It's C-H-A-M-U-E-L. Your guardian angel is going by sh that same sound, but it's S-H-A-M-M-U-E-L. So it's S-H-A-M-M-U-E-L, Shamuel. And um, so don't get those confused. Guardian angels, archangels, not the same thing. Totally different things. Yes, you can have archangels with you. Absolutely. Never hesitate to call upon them to help you out. But guardian angels are devoted singularly, completely, totally to you. So uh, this angel just has a name that sounds like the archangel, uh, Shamuel. And you also have a guardian angel named, these are very... Um, these are very angely names. <laughs> so I, I'm wondering, Lori, if you really are very much an angel person. Uh, so the, I, the other name I got is Navael. So N-A-V-A-E-L. Navael. 
Naveel. So Shamuel and Naveel. So very angel sounding names. That might mean that Lori kind of needs that. She wants that. That, or that. that is comforting to her. If I had told her that her guardian angel's names were Fred and Lucy, <laughs> That wouldn't have been as comforting to her. So, uh, so there you go, Lori. Names, okay. All right. So back to Instagram. So uh, let's see. Um, so Carly says, I would like to know if I should go for a job opportunity at work. Okay, so I'm going to go to Archangel Power Tarot Cards. Archangel Power Tarot Cards. All right, and we'll see. All right. Okay. Should I go for... So CD Grief, I see you, but uh, your, your question is very vague. So give me a more specific question, and I'll take your question. Okay? All right. Okay, two and one. All right, so should we go for that job? Thank you, that's way more easy to work with. <laughs> so, um, so Carly, I would go for it. Um, I think that they will love you and you will love them. Um, the only thing about this particular, oh, well, by the way, oh, sorry, Facebook. <laughs> by the way, just in case you're curious, that's my husband. <laughs> So you can do stuff like this, right? <laughs> when you make cards, you can do stuff like this. But um, um, so anyway, the thing about this particular card is we can get a little swept off our feet, Carly. So the thing that what you would want to do is make sure that you are balanced about it. I think you'll love it. They'll they'll love you. That's all great, awesome. But if you you could really get um, workaholic. Okay. You could get workaholic or, um, really caught up in it. So balance, balance, balance. Okay. Balance. Okay. So now that question about, is he the one? Well, let's find out. Okay. Let's find out if he is the one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use angel answer oracle cards and the reason that I do that, I want to use it, is because it is particularly good for yes, no questions. Okay? Yes, no questions. Because I break the deck into three parts. I break the, the deck into the, the yes, no answers, also the timing answers, and then the angel card reading answers. Okay? Hi, Susan. So let's find out. So we're just going to shuffle here. Can you see it? There you go. <laughs> and see, I love that because it makes, you know, that's one of the things I love about Angel Answer Oracle cards is that was just as clear as could be, right? It was as easy and clear, no, ha no, no wiggle room, clear as can be, all right? <laughs> okay, so let me put Angel Answer Oracle cards aside. If you're just joining us, hi there. I did the angel messages for the week, February 19th through the 25th. They are at the beginning of this particular video. And so you can, uh, when it's over, you can go back to the beginning of the video. If you missed that part, uh, it will also be posted on YouTube and it will be posted on Instagram for the 24 hours that they will allow me to leave it up. So Susan Dentino is joining us, one of my dear friends and another Hay House author. She is the author of Songs of my life slightly out of tune and it is hilarious so <laughs> if, if you want something to read uh, it's really great uh, summer reading and really great for people who've got some concerns about self um, confidence or being empowered within their own lives it does both so take a look at it and also don't forget my new book is out how to be your own genie uh, so I'm very excited about this is how to manifest the magical life and tells you kind of how I managed to manifest this life that I have right now that I love so much when I used to be a certified public accountant <laughs> so and I'm almost done with my next book. 
my deadline is March 1st. <laughs> and then I will turn my attention because a lot of you have been asking, yes, then I will turn my attention to new decks of cards. Yes. That's what I will do next, I promise. Okay. Uh, also, I just want to let a few people know that if you happen to be anywhere near the Virginia Beach area, I am going to be speaking at the Edgar Casey um, Foundation. I'm going to be talking about how to be your own genie. And so if you are interested in how to manifest a magical life, I'll be talking all day. It is, I believe it's April 7th. And you can find out about the, the event either going, by going to their page Page, or you can go to my Facebook page and click on events. Okay, enough with that. All right, let's see. Um, okay, there we go, Shirley. Hi, Shirley. How you doing, honey? So when will things get better for us? Okay, so for timing questions, I'm going to, I I could go to um, Angel Answers and it would, but I want to get, some, I want some specific. Okay. And, uh, and angel answers, they are sort of specific, but, but they're, they're, they're quite, they're answers like, um, um, within a few weeks, within a few months. And, and I want specific. Okay. So because I want specific, I'm going to go to angel tarot cards, angel tarot cards. All right. Oh, there's 333 people watching right now. Yay. Ascended masters. Okay. So here we go. So when, well, Shirley, when will things get better? When will things get better? Okay. So nine. So the hermit. Now, this actually happens to be, interestingly enough, the card of the day on my Facebook page and on Instagram, just from a different deck. So the hermit talks about being in the darkness, right? And trying to shine our light. And the hermit, you know, people think that the hermit is alone, but the hermit really isn't alone. The hermit is holding up that lantern in order that the people who are climbing the mountain, the people that are climbing the mountain can come to him for wisdom and guidance. So this is also a card about mentorship or being a mentor, but also about shining your light. But the thing that we care about is when will things get better? And so the card at the top has a nine. So for me, what that means is that within nine weeks, you're going to start to feel some relief. Things will start to feel better for you from whatever it is that's giving you grief. But in the meantime, what I want to do, uh, Shirley, is I want to make sure that you are aware of a an archangel whose name is Jophiel. It's J-O-P-H-I-E-L, Jophiel. And the reason that I'm introducing you to Jophiel is because Jophiel is the archangel that is the beauty of God, the beauty of God. And one of the things that I talk about and how to be your own genie is that it's very easy for when things are not going the way that we want them to go, that we can get into a spiral, a spiral of negative thoughts. And what we put our focus on is what we create. It's what we create. And so I want to introduce Archangel Jophiel to you. She comes in a fuchsia pink color. You may start to smell roses, Shirley, from just out of nowhere. She's associated with roses. And to help you, because she's known for beautifying our thoughts, known for beautifying our thoughts thoughts. So Pamela Cox said, this is my question as well. So take this answer to be the same for you, but I'm going to pull a timing card for you, Pamela. Pamela, you've got a more like 11 weeks for things to really start to feel like they're getting better. But I want you to st take all of that stuff about Joe Fiel that I just told Shirley and consider it to be for you as well. This is one of the things that I'm always really trying to tell Everybody is that it is very important that you realize that the universe is big and amazing and magical, big and amazing and magical. And it can answer multiple people's questions at the same time. All right. So let's see. So, okay. 
Paul Rule, come here, don't jump. Hi, Rad, met a guy whom I feel very connected with. Can I get some guidance if he's the one for me? Okay, so I feel like that for that one, I wanna go to Guardian Angel Tarot Cards. I'm gonna go to Guardian Angel Tarot Cards and see if this is the one for you. And one, okay. Well, wow. well, this card, this is a very interesting card. It's the, it, oh, sorry, Facebook. I keep doing this to you today. I don't know why I'm doing that, but I got two cameras. I'm just trying to hit everybody. So here's the card for you. It's a win-win solution, a win-win solution. So one of the things that I would say is that the relationship between the two of you is a win-win solution. It, it, it is good for both of you. And, and you know what? So many times what I see is a relationship that's good for her and not good for him or good for him more often and not good for her. <laughs> yes, I said that out loud. I did. I know. And so, but this is a really good balanced relationship a really good balanced relationship, a relationship where communication occurs. And that is very important. So proceed. Okay. All right. So let's see, where are we next? We're back at Facebook. Okay. Back at Facebook. Um, okay. Need this cough to clear. <laughs> Oh, girlfriend, tell me about it. <laughs> tell me about it. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it, it's like my cough last, I got my cough in early November, and it is just now going away. Whatever this thing is, it is just, it, it just hangs on. My doctor has had it for two months. So here's what I'm going to say, Susie. I think that for this, what we need is we need an Archangel prescription for you. So that's what we're going to do. So first of all, we are going to ask Archangel Michael to be behind you to the left. And we're going to ask him to cut your energetic strands. That's what my friend Denise Lynn calls them, energetic strands. <clears throat> to cut those connections to the cough, to whatever it is that is creating the cough. We're also going to ask him to do a little energy cleanup for you because it's like it feels like you've got some stuff that really needs to be cleaned up. So we're going to ask him to do that as well. We're going to put Archangel Raphael, the healer, the, the great healer, whom God heals is what his name means. We're going to put him to the right behind you so that so that he can work on you from a physical health standpoint. It feels to me like there's a real spiritual th kind of thing going on with this Susie as well. So that's why I've got the, these guys behind you. In front of you, who are we going to put in front of you? I think we're going to put Archangel, well, Archangel Gabriel, just because... Well, because she is the archangel of communication and coughing is, is from here, right? Coughing is from here. So we're going to put her in front of you and ask her to clear up whatever is causing this to get mucked up, to get mucked up. And also, I think I'm going to put Archangel Uriel in front because he's the archangel of emotional healing. And so to whatever extent that this is emotional, uh, we want to get rid of that too. We want to get rid of that too. All right. So there you go. Okay. I heard a comment. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see. Um, um, so Lush. Lashes Liz. Oh, you're Liz. You're Liz. Hi, Rad. Can my angels please tell me on my moving situation? Will I find a home for my son and I? Yeah, let me go to, again, we're manifesting, right? We're manifesting. So fairies, we'll, we'll do fairies. <clears throat> no Instagram got stuck. There we go. Keep going. Okay, there we go. Okay, so will you find a home for your son and you? Two and one. Okay. So, all right. Okay. 
<laughs> so this is Ten of Spring. Okay, this is Ten of Spring. And Ten of Spring is a card that shows itself when something is a is, is an incredible burden. It's an incredible burden. Uh, I kind of call this the Cinderella card, but before the fairy godmother got there. <laughs> so um that so you're carrying this as such a burden on your shoulders that that's part of the challenge that you are having in finding the right thing. And the longer it takes you to find the right thing, the longer it takes you the more you, you're weighing it on your shoulders. And so we need to like get that off your shoulders. And instead, so it's, this is, this, I wish I'm Warden Pink. This is Archangel Jophiel week, <laughs> apparently. And so Liz, I want you to, uh, once again, Archangel Jophiel, the beauty of God, to help you to get this off your shoulders, to help you to create a situation where you feel more positive about the opportunities that are out there. I do believe that, yes, you are going to find something that it will happen quicker if we get this burden off your shoulders and let you instead start feeling some sort of of excitement and happiness about it. That if you could transfer those two things, if and I think you probably had that happiness and, and excitement at the beginning of this, or maybe you even started this with, with a lot of doubt. And um, but instead of being in a situation where we are really in a negative thought process and really in worry and fear and, and oh my gosh, instead be excited about it. Be happy about it. Be in joy about it. Oh my God, you're going to go find a home for you and your son. Yay. And that's the energy. Okay. And Jophiel can help you have that energy. All right. Jophiel can help you have that energy. Um, <clears throat> okay. So uh, Miss Rosie, I just happened to see says, I'm getting, I'm trying to move forward. I broke up eight months ago. I'm, I'm, she's having trouble selling her house, having trouble selling her house. So one of the things that I always tell people about that, if you haven't done this already, uh, first of all, if you have a friend or, or know someone that does feng shui, make sure your house has been feng shui to sell. Okay. Just do that. Second of all, find the center of the house, find the heart of the house. It might not be in the center, but just walk around the house until you come to the place where you feel like this is the heart space of the house and have a conversation with your home. Say, thank you so much for having taken care of me all of this time. Thank you for so much. Dwayne is saying, sage your house. So we're just take advice from Facebook and give it to Instagram. <laughs> I love this. This is so cool. Make sure you sage the house, but also it's like have a conversation with the house. Thank it for all it's done for you and all it's done to protect you. But also at the same time, I want you to um, um, say, let the house know it's time for me to move on. I need to move on. I need to move on. And we are trying to find the perfect people, the perfect people to come live with you now. And then the other thing that I would do is uh, I would ask Archangel Ariel, because she is manifesting money, put her at one corner of the house, Uriel at another corner of the house, it doesn't matter which one, because he will make your house a beacon of light that people will see from far away and come in your direction. Uh, Archangel Jophiel, so people, <laughs> Should have worn pink. Archangel Jophiel to make your house look beautiful to everybody who is coming by. And then, um, what else do I want? Um, oh, Archangel Michael to sever any energetic connections that you still have to this house or the house has to you. Okay. Who was that? Ariel. Ariel is, well, I love Ariel. Ariel is the, um, she is the lioness of God. And in lots of ways, I think about her as being sort of like the male equivalent of Michael. She's, to me, she's a fiery redhead and she is, she's the archangel of nature and protecting animals and therefore manifesting your material needs. All right. Your material needs. Okay. <clears throat> So let's see. Um, Yvette says, hi, Radley. My name is Yvette. Hi, Yvette. Would like to know the name of my guardian angel. Well, sweetheart, you came to the right place. Uh, but first of all, one thing you've got to understand is everybody has at least two. 
Okay, so we're going to give you two names. We might give you more. <laughs> I don't know, but let's just find out what we got. So the first name that I'm getting is Sebastian. Sebastian and Charlotte. Sebastian and Charlotte. I'm just looking around you here real quick. So teachable moment. <laughs> Sebastian and Charlotte are your two primary guardian angels. Sometimes people have a, another angel hanging out with them for long periods of time. I call them project angels. They're project angels. Um, you don't have that angel yet, um, but that angel, it, it feels like a, it's a feminine kind of energy. It is, it's, she's coming. All right. She's coming. So Yvette, is it, if there's something that, you've been wanting to manifest, if you've been wanting to manifest a new job or a, a, a new career or something along those lines, um, a new angel's coming in, all right? A new angel's coming in. Okay, so unfortunately, um, one of the things that I did not know uh, when I set this whole thing up, for those of you who don't know, uh, I had to, because one of my little dogs is recovering from surgery, I had to do this ask grad in a different area of the house. And to my utter shock, apparently Facebook Live drains your laptop like crazy. My battery is almost dead. So I am going to have to shut down because I'm, it's, it's, I'm watching my battery go down. And so, cause I couldn't plug in at this particular location. I won't make that mistake again. Uh, so, uh, for those of you who are just tuning in, remember you, if you miss the angel messages of the week for February 19th through the 25th, they will, this video will be posted on my Facebook page. It will be posted on my YouTube page and it'll be on Instagram for, uh, a one day because that's as long as they let me do it. So, um, you guys, uh, I will see you next week. I hope you have a fantastic week. Make the most of this week. Make it brilliant. Make it joyful. Make it happy. Just do whatever you can to make joy be in your life. All right. All right. So y'all have a great week. Mwah. And remember, life is magic.